Yeah, so I met him, and then I'm walking down the halls, you know, I'll see, I'll be if everybody's ever been to the convention center. And then I see the drummer from Deftones. I think his name is Abe Cunningham. And uh, he was walking, like, towards me in a rush. Okay, so, like, I'm I'm probably, like, 21 or something. I'm not, I don't know. I'm really young. And uh, he was in a rush. He had to go somewhere. <laughs> and I stopped him. And I said, hey, can I get a picture real quick with you? <laughs> and uh, I tell you, man, he gave me, like, this most dirtiest, ugliest look, dude. Like, this most pissed off look. And he was just so reluctant, you know, to do it. And he, and he stopped and he's like, he had no, he like, he just, he, I got him caught in this situation. He didn't want to be in. And, uh, he finally decided like, okay, I'll give this scumbag a picture. <laughs> and, uh, I took a picture with him. I'll scrape it up. And, uh, you can see the picture. He looks really annoyed, <laughs> <laughs> but it doesn't bother me. I'll tell you why this guy. Why would it bother you? This guy is living the perfect life, touring, world. I don't feel sorry for you, dude. I don't. You're doing what we all want to do. Mm-hmm. You're playing on, a, on an awesome band, world tour. So, yeah, I bug you. So what? You know what I mean? You have a great life. <laughs> and so, uh, yeah, he was really annoyed. And uh, and then he eventually walked away. And I'll show the picture of that. And uh and so, yeah, that was my little brief moment with him. And then there was another time where I saw, oh, no, no, not to mention, not to mention, I almost forgot. I called him by the wrong name, too. So not only was he pissed off that I stopped him, but I, ca- I called him Steph Carpenter, the guitar player's name. Man, that really pissed him off. <laughs> so I'll show the picture. He was really annoyed, I, you know, and, uh, man, I was just so excited to see him. So that's why I just screwed up with the, with the name. I had a, just a And you said a, this a was like, fart, what, 90... I mean. when do you, what would you say to this? This has got to be like probably... Probably like 2000 around then. Okay, so like... You know what, I mean? like, like probably the, late 90s. So White Pony around the fur time? It was probably like... I would say this is probably like... Because I was with, I, be, I think I was with my friend, Joe Sanchez was there, and I, I didn't meet him till like probably ninety nine. I want to say maybe it might have been early two thousands actually, two thousand two maybe somewhere around there two thousand so whatever album was out at that time. I stopped kind of listening to them once they got their little their DJ. I wasn't really into that. Sorry. And then Ch- um, what's his name? Um, Chino started deciding that he was going to play guitar in the band, and I was like, I didn't really care for that. So. Yeah, I just decided to cherish the uh, first couple albums of them, and then I moved along, you know? There you go. But uh, I remember another time at NAMM. <laughs> I remember another time in NAMM. Um, I saw Steph Carpenter, Steph Carpenter, the real one, the real guy. <laughs> and he was playing bass at a booth, and he was by himself. And I had my uh, camcorder back then, like my Panasonic camcorder, you know? And I was going around, and I decided to film him. <laughs> and I was talking to him while I was filming him, and I'll see if I could scrape that up. And uh, he, I mean, he wasn't very enthusiastic to talk to me. You know what I mean? I mean, why would you? Who the hell am I, right? But nonetheless, I took video of him, and I was asking him questions. And uh, he sat there for about a couple minutes. And <laughs> then he couldn't deal with me anymore, and he took off. <laughs> so. What, you know, it's like, whatever, man. You know what I mean? These guys are, um, they're really just, they're babied when they go on tour. You know, they're pampered and uh, they get to play. So it's like, whatever. I bother them. Would I do it now? No. I would never do that now. I would never bother them now, you know. But I'm just like some dumb kid from, tw- you know, 21, 20 something years old, 20 nothing years old. And uh, I decided. They're there. Why not, you know, talk to them? And there's a bunch of people that I saw that I never even bothered. I mean, I saw Jonathan Davis. He was, like, right next to me Ooh, right there cool. standing there. And, uh, nice. Yeah, Jonathan Davis was, like, right there by himself. And uh, I love Corn. You know, I love the band. I thought they brought something new to the table back then, you I know, feel. and I really enjoyed them a lot. I didn't bother him, though. But uh, 
those other two guys I did. <laughs> and um, whatever. I like that band. I love the band. I love their music, their earlier stuff. I don't really care for their newer stuff. I don't really like it. I tried hearing the new one. I think it was the new one that came out. I don't know if it's called Ohms, I think it is. Or Ohms. Or... There's a new one that just came out. I can't remember it. I don't know. I took one gant, um, one one listen to it. it. It wasn't really moving me. So I think I listened to like maybe four songs of that album. And I was like, yeah, it's not for me. And, uh, and that was it. And I moved on to another album.